Hey guys, it's me Drew, and I am here to review the 2016 Yankee Candle Fall Collection. This year's fall collection from Yankee Candle is pretty awesome. I'm loving almost every single thing. There's two that I'm not super crazy about, but I'll get into that. Um, before I say anything, these were sent to me for review from Yankee Candle, um, but that does not change my opinion on them. Obviously, there's two that I do not like, and I'm still going to tell you about them. But the first one I'm going to start with is Crisp Whoa. That's interesting. Crisp Fall Night. The lighting's very odd. Um, as you can tell, there are new labels on Yankee Candle. Yankee Candle did change their labels. Um... It's a lot more modern. I will say I really do like the labels now that they um have been here for a while. Um, not a while, but they've been in the works. And seeing the label is very different, but it is definitely more modern. And seeing older candles from Yankee Candle, I'm like, oh yeah, they do look old. So really comparing the two, I definitely prefer this label. This is definitely 2016, definitely more modern. So crisp fall night. It smells, people are going to call it um, cologne It definitely has that in there because it's very earthy. It's very, very citrusy. There's notes of bergamot and grapefruit, so you're really going to pick up on those fruity, fruity notes. There's black peppercorn as well, so it's going to have that little bit of spice, a little bit of a manly scent. Lavender and maple leaf. Um, and when you think maple leaf, don't think like syrup, the maple leaf. So that really earthy, earthy green note with the lavender smells so 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 relaxing and then there's a little bit of cedar and moss in here as well so it's going to add that woodiness so it's definitely like the contents of a men's cologne um i've been hearing that this is called the new boyfriend candle um really really funny um the boyfriend candle so it smells really 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 good though i give this one probably a five out of five because i love 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 the way it smells my absolute favorite favorite one from the collection is actually online only which really really stinks but definitely pick this guy up this is called autumn bouquet now autumn bouquet is flo it's very floral but there's cinnamon and patchouli in here i've really really grown to love patchouli um especially working for lush they use a lot of patchouli in their fragrances and this is definitely you can definitely pick up on the patchouli. It's very different for fall because you would think of fall being pumpkin, cinnamon. I mean, there is cinnamon in here, but that patchouli with the flowers is really, really unique. I definitely love it, and I love the color. It's like this nice, dark, dark, dark red color. I'm so excited to see what the throw is going to be like on this guy because it smells so good. It's definitely my absolute favorite. Then we have one of my least favorites this is autumn gathering and the reason why is because it doesn't really smell like anything um it's apple pear rose tonka patchouli and sandalwood i was very excited to see this when it came out i was like oh this is going to be really really good it's just boring like it's not memorable at all i don't see anything and i love rose scent and i love patchouli and i'm like this is going to be great I can pick up on the rose, I can pick up on the patchouli, but there's so much sandalwood in there, and like the apple and the pear, it just doesn't really make sense to me, I guess. It's nothing to write home about. Probably just going to burn this one in the living room, um, see what the throw's like, see what people who come over think, um, but, I mean, it's nice, it's definitely my least favorite out of them all, one of my least favorites, I don't know, it's just, it's whatever, but that's Autumn Gathering. Then we have Candied Pecans. Now this is delightful. Delightful. It's very simple. Cinnamon, pecan, praline, caramel, vanilla, and malt. This smells... And the longer that you smell it, the more you pick up on the different notes. It smells like when you go to the... Um, I know when I go like to the theater, they will make like candied nuts at intermission so that you can smell them like throughout the theater and whenever you get out you can buy them and they smell just like that it's buttery nutty cinnamon not super spicy so if you're not somebody somebody who likes bakery but not that super spicy side of bakery scents this is definitely one for you it's very very yummy mm, i love love 
love this one. I haven't burned it yet um, because I'm waiting for like the right day for it, for the really super cool days of fall. I really hope this is going to be a um, standard all year. I really, really like this. Like, don't consider it fall, which is what I like. I could burn this all the time. I love this one. Then my other least favorite is definitely caramel apple cake. This, I knew it wasn't going to be a favorite of mine. It's apple, vanilla, clove, caramel, praline, and sugar. It has this weird note. And I think it's the apple in it that's really, like, bizarre. Um, it's not... It's not very foody. Um, it's not fruity, but it's not spicy. It's really, again, just bland. Like, I feel like this and Autumn Gathering are just bland. Like, I could never see anybody saying this is my absolute favorite because it's nothing to write home about. There's really nothing in it, if you want to say that. I don't really... I don't really know. It's interesting. And then the last but not least, I actually burned the entire thing is their most popular i think honey clementine this is so good orange peel clementine and honey that's the notes can't get any more difficult than that let me say when i first smelled this i'm like this is nice it's just orangey but when you burn this that sweetness of the honey really, really comes out, and the peel of the or of the clementine, it really smells like the whole entire clementine. The earthiness of the of the peel, the juicy, juicy right middle, with that little drip of honey. Nothing crazy because it is a base note, so just a teeny tiny bit of honey really sweetens it out. Really doesn't make it as tart as it always is. It is so good. Like I said, I finished the whole entire jar. Super strong throw. Um, I wouldn't say, like, crazy, but it was strong that you could smell it. You definitely notice it. Um, if you walk out of the room and come back, you'll definitely notice this one. Love, 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 love the honey, honey clementine. It is delightful. So if I say to pick out three from this collection, honey clementine, on a bouquet, and... This is like a bonus since it's only online. And the candied pecans. Love this guy. Mm, it's delightful. But that was my video on the Yankee Candle Fall Collection. Let me know what you've tried, what you like, what you would like to try. And yeah, leave those comments down below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.